In this video, we will cover firing adjustments. This video was created using Windows 7. You will on occasion need to perform firing adjustments with the printer to ensure the printer is properly calibrated. The reason for this is because print head firing has various timings depending upon a print head's properties and the platen height. Outside of this setup, this process should be executed in the event of a major component such as a print head has been replaced or the printer is being set up at a location for the first time. This includes if the printer has been moved from one location to another. To begin the process, ensure the printer is first connected to a PC via LAN or USB connection. First go to the Windows Start button, then go to All Programs. From there, go to the folder name Brother GTX4 Tools and open it. Next, click on GTX4 Maintenance. This will launch the Maintenance Tool program. From here, first ensure your printer is connected and you have it selected at the top drop-down, specifically in the case of if you have multiple printers. If this process is being done for the first time or after a major component replacement, please be sure to complete a CR speed adjustment via the printer panel and also complete the V rating settings as well. After that process has been completed, you can click on the radio button for firing adjustments and click next. Start the process off by selecting color heads on the next screen and press next. You'll need a white sheet of blank letter sized paper to print the firing adjustment. Ensure the platen height on the printer is set to level A before proceeding. The print data will be sent to the printer upon clicking Next. Do not proceed beyond this point until after you have printed the file. Ensure the printer receives the file and firing check color is displayed on the panel screen. Next, take the blank white paper and align it in the upper corner of the platen as shown. Ensure the paper is flat and without wrinkles or the obstacle sensor may be tripped as a result. Next, press the green print button on the panel and allow the file to print. Once the print has been ejected from the printer, you will hear a pong sound. You can remove the paper as you will need it to determine the calibration at the PC. You can remove the paper after the pong and begin the adjustment process back at the PC while the printer is docking the print heads. Back on the PC, you can now click Next. Take the paper that was printed and look at it closely. We will be asked to pick the box that is the smoothest where the checkerboard pattern is the least visible. In this case, this is box number 7. In the tool, we will pick the number 7 from the drop-down list. Please note as well, there is a printed example inside the tool in case you need another example of how picking the number is determined. When you click Next, an updated file will be sent to the printer, which you will hear the printer pong. The screen will not change on the panel. You will only hear the sound as notification. Using the same sheet of paper, we will align the paper in the uppermost corner again. We will simply flip the paper around to use the same piece. After doing this, you can go ahead and press the Print button again. Once the file has been printed, remember to wait to hear the pong, then collect the paper and return to the PC. Back on the PC, you may go ahead now and click Next. This screen will be a bit different than the last as we are looking to confirm the adjustment file that was sent to the printer. The printout will have to now be the smoothest at least in one of the middle rows of the boxes, either 4, 5, or 6. The printed sample here inside the tool will give you an idea as well if your calibration was either good or bad. Evaluate the print now. As you can see, the smoothest patterns are on the middle row here, now on this second print. So we can now answer the question on screen. When the smoothest area is around 5, it confirm that the sideline is tight. If the sidebar is not tight, please start the process over again. We can now select Yes and click the Next to move on. The printouts will need to be on a transparency sheet. Please note that the transparency sheet will need to set against a black background when looking at the print. Please simply follow the same process as you did for the color side until reaching the last screen on the white side adjustment. This time, once we click Next on the last screen of confirmation, for the white side adjustment, the tool will give us a message stating, all combinations of firing adjustment are done. Go back to the main menu. Press OK and we will go back to the main menu where you may continue to platen rolling adjustment if you are setting up the printer or replacing a major component. If you need additional support, please fill out our web form at brotherdtg.com forward slash help for further assistance.